Welcome back everybody, hope you're doing well. Today we're unboxing and installing a new light from a brand that I haven't used before. So I'm very curious about this one, let's get started. So before we get started, full transparency, the light that I'm about to show you was sponsored. I didn't pay for it, but as always, I'm gonna give you guys my honest opinion. And if I like something, I'll tell you. And if I don't like something, I'll tell you as well. So what I have right here is a new light from a brand called Aqua Illumination and they call this one the Blade. And Aqua Illumination I think is not very popular in the freshwater hobby. I think they do mostly salt water. I think they have one other freshwater model which is called the Prime. But that one has been on the market for quite a while. This one is brand new. I think they released it two, three weeks ago, something like that. So they reached out to me, asked if I want to test it out. Of course I said yes, I'm always curious about new products. So today we're going to unbox it and uh, take a look. Okay, so let's start with the box itself. So we have the Aqua Illumination Blade Freshwater. So this light comes in four different models, but the other three are all for salt water, I think. So we're taking a look at the Freshwater version, next generation LED strip, and this one is 12 inches or 30.5 centimeters. So I think this light comes in seven different sizes. So this one is the smallest one. The longest one is like 160 or 170 centimeters. So really long light. Um, over here it says Mobius. I think that's for the app. This light is app controlled, but we'll take a look at it later. Move on over to the back side. Here we can see some mounting examples. So these are all sold separately apart from these, these things. So the, the low profile tank rest is included and everything else is sold separately. So my preferred way would be the elevated tank rest and they've been very kind and sent me those as well. So these were my preferred way of mounting this light. Over here we see the LED layout. So we have 16 cool white LEDs, 4 warm white LEDs, 2 blue ones, and 2 red ones. So I think that's everything. So let's, uh, let's open it up. As you can see, it's still sealed. I've had this light for a few days now, but I've managed to uh, control myself and wait for the uh, unboxing. Okay, so let's start opening this up. So here we have everything that was in the box. We have the light itself with six LED modules and it seems like quite a long cable attached to it. That's nice, I like that. We have the power supply, the adapters for the power supply and a quick start guide. Okay, so let's take a look at the light itself. Looks pretty good. We have six of those LED modules. And then here there's a little button. I just checked the quick start guide and this button has a few options. Um, if you press and hold it right now, it's like a factory reset button. If you press it before you uh, connect this light to the app, it kind of you can kind of change the intensity. And if you press this button after you connect it to the app, this kind of overrides your schedule. So that's quite interesting. I like that they included that because, I mean, not everybody wants to use their light with an app. And this way you can kind of still control the intensity without having to download an app or use your phone to control the light. That's cool. Um, the light is basically covered in these um, tank rests, which I find quite interesting. So these can be moved and then you can basically make the light longer. Let's see, let's see how far we can pull them out. Okay, so I just switched to the wide angle lens. So as you can see, it's actually quite long. Let's uh, measure that. Okay, so that is like 53 centimeters. So I'll put on the screen how much that is in inches. So one thing I couldn't find for this light was recommended tank sizes. So for example, when you buy a Hero's light, like a WRGB2, if you buy a 30 centimeter version, then it will say that you can use this light for tanks up to 45 centimeters. That's something I couldn't find for this light. And I guess they didn't include that because of all the different mounting options. So I just took a little empty 30 centimeter cube. Let's see if this light fits on there. And then let's see to what maximum size we can go with this light. So here we have the light on top of a 30 centimeter cube. I mean, it fits, but as you can see, it's kind of sticking out a little bit. It's not really a big deal, but yeah, it just looks a bit weird. Then here we have the light on top of a 36 centimeter tank. So this is a standard size 36P. So the brackets are slightly extended. And now the corners here are definitely like kind of gripping the glass. So that looks a little bit better already. And then here we have the light on a 50 centimeter long tank. So it's now almost fully extended. I guess we could go a little bit longer, but I don't have a 60 centimeter tank, but I don't think it will fit on 60 centimeters. Now let's change to the little bit more elevated brackets. The reason I like these more is because the light will sit kind of a little bit higher on top of the glass. That should give us a better overall spread in, the, in most of our tanks. Um, one thing I just noticed though with these brackets, 
because you can kind of move them a little bit, there's a little like notch here. If you start moving it, you can kind of, you're kind of damaging the rubber over here. So we need to be very careful with that. Yeah, let's remove these. So I think you have to extend them all the way. See, I'm already pulling that rubber as well. So have to be careful with that. Okay, so we have the other mounts on now. Why do you like how that looks? Let's measure the distance between the two brackets so we can kind of see what's the minimum tank size. Here we go, that's 32 centimeters. So I'll put again on the screen how much that is in inches. One thing I find interesting about the design of these brackets is the way that the plastic kind of covers the heat sink. So this metal grid here on top, that's supposed to get help get rid of the excess heat that's produced by the light. So I'm not sure how warm this light will get once it's on full power. Maybe we can test that later as well, but yeah, I mean, if you're using these brackets, then the plastic is kind of basically com completely covering the heat sink. And I can't imagine that's very a very good thing, you know? So I find it interesting. But yeah, let's uh, turn the light on, let's connect to some power, download the app and see what that's like. Okay, so I've installed the light on top of my beta tank. So this one is 40 centimeters from left to right. I still have the Chiros A2 series behind it, so we can do a little comparison in a minute. Um, I quite like uh, how it looks, I quite like the design. It's quite flat, it's quite minimalistic. And we see a button flashing there. So it's connected to power and I want to turn it on first without the app, see if that works. And then after we do that, we can install the app and do it that way. Okay, so Geo's light is off. So let's give it one press. Okay, so that's 1%. Another press. It's 20%. 40%. 60. 80. And 100. Okay, I'm actually quite surprised by how bright that is. Seems like it's almost similar to the G Heroes. So let's do a little comparison. I'll move this light exactly to the middle and show you guys how it looks on 100%. Then I'll turn it off, switch the G Heroes to the middle again and show you guys how that one looks on 100%. So I've just switched to a different camera just so I can show you guys the app from my phone. So the quality might be a little bit bad right now, but just bear with me. So this light is controllable with actually with two different apps. One is Mobius and the other one is My Aqua Illumination. I'm not sure what's the difference between the two, but for this video, I'm just going to show you guys the whole process with the My Aqua Illumination app. So we'll go to the uh, we'll go to the app store and then I'll show you guys everything step by step. So I'm just going to start by typing in My AI. Press search, and then hopefully it will kind of pop up here. Here we go. So we download it. Takes a few seconds. My AI would like to use Bluetooth. As always, that's fine. Then we accept the agreement, and then you need to log in. So you need to first need to make an account. I think I already did that, so I can just use my email and password. So once you've made an account and you are logged in, you will see this sort of almost empty black screen. On the top, we will see this plus. So if we tap on that, we get these three different options. And I'm just gonna choose the AI light. And then we need to make a tank. So I'm just gonna call this one beta tank. Next, it's gonna start searching for the device. Here we go, that's our device, the Blade 12 inch freshwater. Click that, tap next. Firmware update, configuring devices, everything is done. Setup complete. So that was very simple. So once you've made your account, you're logged in, you found your light, we get to this home screen. So I named this tank Beta Tank, and we have a beautiful picture of some clownfish and some anemones. Doesn't matter, we can change that picture later. But here we basically have four different modes. So the first one is live demo. So this one is just if you want to kind of just play around with a little bit or show it to your friends or family. You can kind of play around with the different colors and not really make any different settings or anything. So that's the live demo. Um, lights on. You can kind of choose for how long you want lights on to be. So this is, if you don't want to, want to follow the schedule, you can just kind of put the lights on for either a few minutes or like up to one hour. Um, enable schedule. 
That button is just if you've been playing around with all these four, with, with all these three different modes and you want to just go back to your schedule, you just tap enable schedule. And then feed mode is quite interesting. This is like, um, you can see the light is kind of dimmed to like 5%. So for example, your, your schedule is from 1 p.m. till 9 p.m. But at 7 o'clock in the morning, you want to feed your fish, you want to see them for a little bit. You can use this mode. So that's all the four different modes. Then below that, we see dashboard, lighting, and settings. So if we go to lighting, that's where we can really like make our own schedule. And here you can go really crazy. You can do all kinds of different things. But I'm just going to keep it simple for now, and I'll show you the easy setup. So in the bottom right section, we will see easy setup. If you tap on that, you can kind of choose what time you want the sunrise to be. So I always like the sunrise at 1 p.m. and a sunset at 9 p.m. That's basically the same for all my tanks, so I'll stick with that. And then ram time for me, half an hour is enough. So 30 minutes. And then we can also choose which, how we want the, the three different colors to be. So I'm going to go quite heavy on the cool white, add a little bit of blue, and that looks good for me. So for me, that's done. Yes, yeah, so that's just a quick overview of the app. Pretty simple, pretty straightforward. I like it. I think there's a couple more things that we can do here, but um, I've, I've set my schedule, so that's, that's all I need to know, really. Okay, so we unboxed it, installed it, downloaded the app. I think the only thing we haven't done yet is talk about the price. Now, seeing that this is a relatively new light, it, there wasn't a lot of information about the price available just yet. But I found an American store selling it for $140 and I found a German shop selling it for 160 euros. So let's say average 150. So it's definitely not a cheap light, but I think the price is quite fair. I mean, if I'm looking at the build quality, the overall power and the app control, I think it's a, I think it's a fair price. Also, if you're looking at other brands that have the same qualities, I mean, there's not really many freshwater brands out there that have app control. I think the only one that I can think of right now is Chihiro's. And Chihiro's lights are kind of in the same price range as the Aqua Illumination. So, yeah, I think the price is fair. So my first impression of this light is actually pretty good. I'm quite impressed with it. I like the design. I like how thin it is. It just feels really well made. Um, the brackets, though, I'm not really a big fan of the brackets. I think they're a little bit basic. The design could be better. But I do like that they're extendable and we can use this light on a bunch of different tank sizes. Then the colors. I mean, the colors with this light are very natural. That's something I think I need to get adjusted to a little bit because previously I was using the Chihiro's light and Chihiro's lights have very vivid colors, really saturated a little bit as well. So this is a little bit more natural, but I think I just need to play around with the colors a little bit. Um, I do like the app. App is just very easy to work with, so that's another really big plus. Yeah, so far so good. Um, is there anything negative to say about this light? Yeah, the, the issue that I have with the rubber in the beginning of the video, it's a bit of a downside, but could have been my fault as well. Maybe I was just a bit too rough with um, adjusting the brackets. And oh yeah, well, we talked about the uh, the plastic covering the heatsink. Let's do a little heat test actually. So I've had the light on for a few hours now on full power. So if we check the temperature in the center, it's like 47 degrees Celsius. So it's not hot, but it's definitely warm. And I think if you would be using these brackets and basically cover up the entire heatsink, I'm sure the temperature will go up. So if you're thinking of getting this light, I would say go for these brackets. So I think that's it for now. If you're considering buying this light, I'll leave some links in the video description. I'll also add a link to the Aqua Illumination website where you can find more information about this light. And maybe there's some things that I've missed in this video. Yeah, I think that's it. I want to thank you guys for watching and don't forget to smash the like button. And I'll see you next time. Take care.